This is Miss Lalana, and in this video, I will be going over Monday's math homework from February the 1st, 2016. So before I get started, you need to make sure that you have your homework completed in front of you, and you'll need something to correct your work with, either a pen or a colored pencil, a crayon, or a marker, but make sure if you use a marker, not something dark enough that'll bleed through the back side. So no pencils for this one. Now some of you worked on the two digit addition problems. Some of you worked on the three digit addition problems. Some of you did a mixture of both, while some of you did the entire sheet. So make sure you have that in front of you. And if you don't, um, you can scroll down to the description and print you another copy or see if Miss Lalana has an extra one. Now, if you already finished this work and want to do it again, you are welcome to print you another copy and practice. Hey, and if you're not even in my class, you can go ahead and do this work as well. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to get started on the first row. Now, before I go over that, let's go over some rules. So, when we add two-digit numbers, where do we begin? That's right, we're gonna add the ones side first, the ones place digits. So what I'm going to do to help you out if you're struggling with that is highlight the ones place. Okay, so I highlighted the ones place on the first row and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So the first problem says 44 plus 76. So we start right here, four plus six, and that gives me 10. So I only write the zero here for the 10 and the one I put in the tens place, right there. Now I add the tens place. I have one plus four and that gives me five plus seven is 12. Now, since I don't have another place right here, I can write the 12 down below. So my answer for that one is 120. All right, let's look at the next one, 17 plus 85. So we first start in the ones place. Let's add the ones digits. Seven plus five, that's 12. So I write the two here and the one above the tens place. 1 plus 1 is 2, and I know 2 plus 8 is 10. So your answer is 102. All right, the next one, 36 plus 68. I have 6 plus 8, and that is 14. Put the 4 and carry the 1. I have 1 plus 3, that's 4, plus 6, which gives me 10. All right, the next one, 90 plus 81. I have zero plus one in the ones place, which is one, and nine plus eight gives me 17. So 171 is the answer for that one. All right, the next one, four plus seven, that is 11, so write the one, and put the one up here, and then one plus one is two, plus six is eight. So 81 is the answer for that one. Now, thumbs up if you got the first row correct all by yourself. Amazing. All right, let's go ahead and do the next row. Now, for this next row, I'm not gonna highlight my ones place, but what I am going to do is draw a line in between my tens and ones place because I know some of you out there like that strategy. So I'm gonna Draw a line to separate my digits. All right, now you don't have to draw the line if you don't need the line. Some of us like drawing the line, some of us don't need the line, so whichever works best for you. All right, let's start here. Four plus eight, that's 12, so I put the two same thing like we did in the top row. You write the two in the ones place and put the one and the 12 in the tens place. Um, now here I see one and nine. I know one and nine is 10, so I'd rather do that first. One plus nine is 10, plus three is 13. 
Or if you want to, you can do 1 plus 3 is 4, then plus 9 is 13. So either way, you get the same answer. So that answer is 132. So don't get confused by this line right here. That's not a 1, okay? That's 132. All right, the next one. I have 13 plus 49. 3 plus 9 is 12. I write the 2 and I carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Plus 4 is 6. So that's 62. All right, the next one. 47 plus 64. 7 plus 4 is 11. Write the 1. And we'll put the 1 in the tens place. And here I know that 4 plus 6 gives me 10. Plus 1 is 11. So that's 111. Let me write these down here so you don't get confused. All right, the next one, 39 plus 39. Oop, that's a double number, 39, 39, double 39. All right, nine plus nine, that's 18. Write your eight and we'll put the one up here. I know double threes, three plus three is six, plus one is seven. So that's 78. All right, the next one, we have 11 plus 69. 1 plus 9, that's 10. I write the 0 and put the 1 up here. 1 plus 1, that's 2. Plus 6 is 8. So 80 is the answer for that one. All right, thumbs up if you got the second row right. Awesome. All right, let's look at the third round. Thir um, oops, third row. All right, for the third row, I'm just going to go ahead and add. So now you can either use the strategy we did here by highlighting the ones place or this one by drawing a line to separate the tens and the ones or just go ahead and add just like you know. Five plus three, that's eight. Six plus one is seven, 78. The next one, 50 plus 74. Zero plus four is four and five plus seven is 12. So the answer is 124. The next one, 32 plus 72. 2 plus 2, that gives me 4. 3 plus 7, that gives me 10. All right, let's look at the next one. 48 plus 30. 8 plus 0 is 8. And 4 plus 3 is 7. The next one, 30 plus 60. 0 plus 0 is 0, 3 plus 6 is 9, and that's 90. All right, thumbs up if you got this row correct. Now give me a thumbs up if you've gotten all three rows correct so far. That is great. All right, so let's look at the next row. 54 plus 31, 4 plus 1, that is a 5. And 5 plus 3 is 8. So the answer is 85. And the next one, 16 plus 23. 6 plus 3, that is 9. 1 plus 2 is 3. All right, the next one, 25 plus 43. 5 plus 3, that is 8. And 2 plus 4 is 6. So that answer is 68. Let's look at the next one, 43 plus 34. 3 plus 4 is 7. 4 plus 3 is 7. And the last one on this row, 28 plus 11. 8 plus 1, that gives me 9. And 2 plus 1 gives me 3. So that is 39. All right, we are almost done, down to our last row. 71 plus 40. 1 plus 0, that's a 1. 7 plus 4, that's an 11, 111. I've seen that answer before. Oh, look, right there, 111, 111. Even though we have different add-ins, we still get the same answer. So that just lets you know there are many different ways to get to one number. The next one, 76 plus 92. I have 6 plus 2, that is an 8. 7 plus 9 gives me 16. 168 is the answer for that one. The next problem, 87 plus 97. We have 7 plus 7, which is 14. 
So I'm going to write the 4 here and put the 1 in the tens place. Now, I know 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 8 is 18, or you can even do 1 plus 8 is 9, and 9 and 9 gives you what? 18. So whichever way is best for you. 184, 184 is the answer for that one. The next one, 62 plus 54, 2 plus 4 is 6, and 6 plus 5 is 11. So that answer is 116. And the next one, we have 95 plus 95. Oh, double 95s. Let's add that one. Not 5 plus 5 is 10. So I'm going to write the 0 here and put the 1 over this 9. I can do 9 and 9, double 9s, which is 18, plus 1 more is 19. Or I can do 1 and 9, that gives me 10, plus 9 would be 19 as well. So the answer for that one is 190. Now, I want you to give you a double thumbs up if you got everything right. Awesome, awesome. Now, if you missed a few and you corrected it, go ahead and thumbs it up too. Now, if you are still struggling, you can rewind the video, start the video back over, and just go over it again. And just continue practicing because with practice, you will get better and better at 